Hi, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Candace. Let's talk fatigue for a minute here. I didn't really understand what MS fatigue was until about five or six years after my diagnosis. I got to a point I was exhausted all the time. I ended up having to shorten my work week from working five days a week and cut it down to three. And I knew it was getting really bad when I had to end up having basically a nap every time after I took a shower. As you'll see in the next clip, Zizu clearly does not have the same um, issues with having to have a nap after a shower. Um, you'll see some of his after bath shenanigans. Enjoy. find it a struggle to come up with healthy, easy meals to make. While dealing with the MS fatigue, plus just MS in general, is such a pain. Um, so I recently tried out Chef's Plate and I was pleasantly surprised. It's nice to have all the ingredients and recipes delivered right to your door. You don't even have to think about it. And just the process to make it is really quite easy. It's basically you just have to cook the food up and it's done. And I also came to find out that Chef's Plate is one of the more economical meal delivery services. So that's a bonus as well. Hi, welcome to Cooking with Candace. This is not a cooking channel, but it's about my life and I'm trying out Chef's Plate today. So I've decided, as you can see, that I'm going to make the Thai beef bowl. So we'll see how this goes. This is what it's supposed to look like at the end. So here's hoping. I'm not a chef by any means, and this is probably gonna kill me a little bit because the fatigue is high today. So um, at least all the portions are together. So let's get started. So let's go. Okay, all of the things are cut up so far. I'm gonna wait. It says to thinly chop the garlic up, but I have a garlic press, so I'm just gonna use that. As far as I'm concerned, it's the same thing. I'm no chef, so don't follow my rules. These are just what I do to make things a little bit easier for me. So all of these things here, the bok choy, the green onion whites, and the garlic are all gonna go in here once it's heated up with the ground beef. The rice is cooking away, it will soon be done. Just gotta wait for this to heat up some more with the oil in there. So then I need to cook the beef um, the Thai spice blend, which is right here, the Thai spice blend, garlic, the green onions, then after that's cooking for a while, um, then I need to add the bok choy, the soy sauce, and can you cooking until everything's cooked. The Carrots are over here with the white wine vinegar and sugar and a little bit of salt. Um, they just don't come back to the end, so we'll see what it's like. So, and the rice is ready to go. Stay tuned for the final product. Good to go 
go now. Now we just have to put it all together. So now we have the final product. Rice on the bottom, the beef mixture, then the leftover green part of the green onions, the pickled carrots, the sriracha mayo, and bon appetit. Like your regular household cleaning. Like wash the floors, vacuum the floors, clean the bathroom, wash the dishes, all the stupid stuff. Well, it's not stupid, but all the stuff that you have to do. But I don't know who likes doing it. I like the, I like what it looks like when it's done. But maybe I hate it so much is because like cleaning kills me. Like I am exhausted afterwards and sometimes it could be like a couple days that it takes me to recover. I am lucky enough to have a family that will help me with some of my cleaning that I'm not able to do. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I also like to keep my independence. So there is cleaning that I do, the daily cleaning. Um, and I am also thankful to have my room to vacuum. Um, it's nice to just be able to push the button and this machine goes around and vacuums for you. In the next clip, you'll find some of my cleaning routine. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. See you next time.